This is week number two for Lisa. Uh, Lisa is a member of our free six week course and is hoping to lose a stone in the next six weeks. Good evening, Lisa. Good evening. How are you doing? Okay, you? Great, thank you very much. My apologies, Facebook Live doesn't seem to be working today, so we'll record here on Zoom. Okay. So how's your first week been? Tough. Um, too many, uh, I don't know, too many unexpected things going on. Um, I was hoping to not drink, but I've ended up drinking. Okay. <laughs> so you said you've been out for a few parties, is that right? Yes, I have. Um, and I didn't want to drink, but when I got there, it was like it was handed to me. And yeah, I shouldn't have, but I did. <laughs> but it's so hard, isn't it, to go to a social event and not drink or not have some treats? Well, I didn't eat. I didn't have no treats. There was Caribbean food. There was cakes. There was everything. I didn't. I was really good, but I did drink gins. Yeah. Well, that's as you know, with keto, that's probably one of the best things you can have. So that's good so have you been on the scales yes i've lost six pounds oh, oh wow great well done so i know if i do better i can lose more <laughs> literally everybody will be breaking the gin open right now <laughs> <laughs> oh amazing well done lisa i'm really pleased with that and today I managed to clean half the house, which I haven't done in six months. So you, just because you're feeling more energetic? Yes, I haven't had no IBS in a week, none at all. Amazing. Um, not that I feel energetic, but I think, oh, should I just do that? And I've been doing it. I've been sweating, yeah. but I've still done it. Um, and I feel tired, but I'm still feeling better. Yeah. And as we said last week, this is one of the reasons that I really wanted you to do keto, because every single thing health wise that is wrong with you, you know, keto can yeah. fix all of that. So yeah. this is this is why, to be honest with you, there's not many people I would advise to do keto straight away. But from yeah. what you told me last week, you know, there's so many good benefits that can help you. So I'm glad you've done it. Yeah, I just need to stick with it a bit better, I think because like yeah. I've had a little bit because there's been nothing in but I need to go and get like my full Greek fat yogurts my proper berries um and make sure that I eat like the fish and just the healthy parts of it I don't normally eat carrots I've been eating carrots I don't normally eat carrots yeah I normally just eat green veg right let's have a little look through your food diary then <laughs> don't worry the fact that you've lost six pounds, I've got a brand new respect for you now. You're like right <laughs> up there. Uh, because one of our other slimmers also lost six pounds this week. So you're right there at the top with them. So well done. Um, so for lunch today, you've had avocado, cheese, prawns, uh, sweet corn and lettuce for lunch. Was that just a salad then? Yeah, yeah. And then in the evening, you've had uh, basically a turkey dinner, haven't you? Yes, I have, but without any carbs whatsoever. Yeah, without any potatoes. So yeah. well done. I, don't, I didn't miss it. I am really full. Yeah. Now, the good thing here, my fitness pal does, of course, count the carbs. Um, now, you have gone over carbs. Yeah, no. However, one of the biggest things I learned doing keto any sort of uh, carb that comes from green vegetables, so like the mange to and uh, the things like the peas, um, you, to be honest, you can minus those off. Yeah, I know, yeah, but I, I don't want to. So I think this is why you've got the big weight loss still, because the carbs yeah. that you are eating are still coming from vegetables. So yeah. well done, really. I just, want, I just need to up my fats a little bit and protein and cut down the carbs a bit more. But I'll, I can do that. Yeah. I just wanted to gradually ease myself into it because I feel so rough. So I don't want to whack into it. I just want to, and then I'll, once I'm on it, I'm on it. I'll, I'll be on it 100%. So avocado is great because that's got the fat in. 
And as we discussed earlier in the Facebook group, just going for something like a cheddar cheese is better than the baby bells because yeah. it's got more fat. Yeah. And when you do have a, a cooked dinner, you're much better to go for fatty meats like the gammon yeah. or beef than you are turkey as well. That's a nice yeah, way yeah. to get extra fat in. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, uh, ham and baby bell. In the evening, avocado. This is the picture that we saw yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've only done one. But I know the tomatoes were wrong, but it was the only thing I could think of that would mix. Yeah, don't worry. And it didn't mix. <laughs> to be honest, you what you what your weight you think loss it was is horrible, but it was nice. <laughs> was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I hate tin tomatoes. So when I saw it, I was like, oh dear. Well, but no, it tasted nice together. My mum loves them. And I know loads of people who love tin tomatoes. So I may not be a fan, but You've lost six pounds on tin tomatoes. So again, there'll be people flocking to have gin and tin tomatoes this week. <laughs> <laughs> um, on Monday, you had Greek yogurt and, and blueberries for breakfast, which again is yeah. good for keto. Uh, lunch, ham, cheese and hummus. The tomato sourdough. Yeah, I've not, I'm not having bread this week. I've gone off. I'm going down back. Now, the good news about sourdough, you obviously know this, it is one of yeah. the best for keto because it hasn't got any gluten in. So sourdough doesn't need yeast gluten in. So, yeah. again, that's a good choice. And I can tell by your choices that you have, uh, you obviously know what you're doing when it comes to carbs yeah. and stuff. Uh, in the evening on Monday, it looks like you went to the chip shop, did you? Yes. But, so I asked him for fish, but I asked him with fit with like no butter on it. So he like literally went in and out. Oh really? Well done. If you go in and ask for that, they'll like they'll like strip it for you and then fry it. Now one of our other slimmers called Chelsea, her husband actually works in a chip shop and he does exactly that. He brings her home. Yeah. They call it a naked fish. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> and again yeah. he just throws it in the fat and brings it out yeah. and again for keto it's actually quite good because obviously you've got the the fat in there oh. without having the batter so yeah well done and the most amazing thing is you didn't have any chips either did you I, i'm not bothered about chips great i can go to any takeaway takeaways don't bother me but i have to eat like the fish or the chicken or something that's gonna make me feel better yeah the protein yeah right sunday this is where <laughs> this is where the gym <laughs> this is a great food diary right so you had the sourdough the cheese and the ham and the hummus for lunch for dinner and then yeah. under snacks you've got quite a few gins yeah 576 calories <laughs> <laughs> just well done for being honest lisa that's the best yeah. thing well, i've got to be in it yeah, this is what I like. Uh, Saturday, you had overnight oats for breakfast. Yeah, which uh, was not good. but It's still only got 50 grams of carbs in. So again, when yeah. we talk about uh, grains, oats, rye, things like this, they have got a lot less carbs in than wheat. So that's the biggest yeah. thing to stay away from. So again, it's not too bad. Uh, for dinner, you've had beef and chicken with some lettuce, tomato and cucumber. Yeah. Uh, and then a, a glass of wine here. Yes, I only had one. Well done. <laughs> and again, as you know from keto, uh, a lot of people who do keto do have one glass of yeah. white wine because it is fine. It's actually only got 10 grams of carbs in it, so that's fine. Uh, Friday... Uh, the sourdough. Did you buy a massive loaf or something of this sourdough? I did. I want one. It's really good, actually. It's really nice, but it's not massive, but you get quite a lot of slice. You're only having one slice, though, so... Yeah. It's not like a sandwich, is it? It's just like one slice. Exactly. And you had with it cheese, ham, avocado and hummus. Yeah. Um, and then in the evening, you had rotisserie, half a chicken and some green beans. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, you had chicken breast with the HelloFresh chicken fried rice. Yes, I only had a tiny bit, though. Yeah, just a quarter of a portion. 
Yeah, it was really tiny. I made a massive bowl of it because I still had some left in the fridge, so I thought I'd get rid of it. But I did that and just put a tiny bit, which just filled me up, to be honest. I know I shouldn't have the rice. I feel better without it, but it didn't hurt me. Yeah, not at all. And then in the evening, you had the sourdough with cheese. Uh, Wednesday, you had sausages with salad and onions yeah. and a bit of baked beans as well. Fine bit, yeah. You know what shocks me about ba baked beans? The actually amount of carbs in them. You had half a That's can good. and there's 26 grams of carbs. It's just unbelievable, don't you think? Yeah, and the sugar. The sugar's amazing. Yeah, just so high. Um, and then in the evening, you've had the sourdough with the hot and spicy cheese and ham. Yeah. Right, so well it's done. Not, it's not a diet I would normally stick to, but it was just something that I just did because it was last minute, so I need to go shopping. Yeah. Um, and I know how to do the keto, and I know how to get on it properly, so I need to get on it properly. Okay, well, if you lose six pounds every week, I'm not even going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> It obviously does get harder, though. So in a way, it's good, Lisa, that you started like this because you've got yeah. loads of things where you can improve. And obviously yeah. that will keep the weight loss going, which is good. Yeah, I also believe in full fat milks. And my husband went and bought green and I don't I don't want the green. I oh, want the did full it? Fat. Right. Yeah. You need to it remind him. It's nice anymore. No. Blue's the way forward. Blue is definitely the way. Full fat Greek yogurt, full fat... Yeah. Full fat cheese is a million times better. And, and it's it cheaper as well. Yeah. Great. Uh, how's your steps been this week? Uh, I've had my watch off for a few days, so I'm not really sure. So I need to get on that as well. Um, but I have been pottering around the house. Like you said, not to do much exercise. Yeah. Um, I've been told by work I need to start doing some Tai Chi. Oh, fancy. Um, I might, yeah, I might have a little go at that and try a walk. Yeah. As I said before, just little and often, just try and do something five, ten minutes every day. Uh, yeah. There's lots of YouTubes for Tai Chi as well, so that'll really help with yeah. your breathing and stuff as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's my breathing. My heart rate's still really high, so... And apparently I'm age 54 when I'm not. I'm 45, so I'm... Right, that will come down. Don't you worry. Once we get a couple yeah. of stone off you, that will be drastically reduced. Yeah, definitely. You'll be a 30-year-old again soon, I tell you. <laughs> right, so the plan for next week then is just to carry on doing the same, but just lower your carbs. Is that right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. And, you know, I won't mind increasing a bit of fat and protein. Yeah. Remember not to increase the protein too much. Just focus on yeah. the fat. Yeah, yeah. And again, just keep going with the uh, unsaturated fats like the avocado. Do you like olive oil? Yeah, that I use. Yeah, if I normally I use olive oil. Yeah, we don't have normal oil, Great. or we have coconut oil because my husband's Jamaican, so we have coconut. Oh look! I know. I love coconut oil. It's so <laughs> nice, isn't it? Yeah. So that's why I couldn't eat no Caribbean food because it was all full of I don't know what. So I couldn't, I couldn't have it. I knew it was um, not good. So a lot of Caribbean food as well. They add a lot of fruit in there as well, don't they? They just add anything into it. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's like swimming in oil, full of bread. She's like, "What are you can have? You can have any bread, macaroni, <laughs> cheese." I was like, "No, none of it." And they were like, "Ooh." Right. I think though. Using keto ingredients, you can make your own Jamaican stuff that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I'll have to have a look, see where I get it from. Yeah, I reckon you can do a lovely keto jerk style chicken and stuff like that. So okay. I'll have a look. You can even do it with cauliflower rice as well to get it oh, perfect. I love cauliflower rice. I love it. And my husband even eats the, is it the broccoli rice? Yeah, broccoli rice. He, that he ain't bothered he'll, he'll convert with me he's not bothered great just uh, put it in front of him i'm sure he'll eat it with a bit of spice yeah, on. great right so what is your goal for next week weight loss wise oh i'd like to do to be honest in three weeks i'd like to try and do a stone 
Okay. Now, so as I you know, to... your friend, yeah. your friend, who's our mutual friend, Bev, she yeah. did lose a stone in her first three weeks. Wow. And she did a stone and a half by the end of the course. So looking That's at amazing. how you're going, I think you're on course for hitting that goal. Yeah, definitely. So that's fab. Right. Any other questions? No, that's it. I'll message you if I need you, but I'm okay. I just need to cut down on certain things. But I know it's a slow process, so let's get on it. Yeah. Don't be hard on yourself. You've done really well no, this I'm week. I'm not going to. Well done. Right. I will catch yeah. up with you next week then, Lisa. All right. Take care. All right. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.